Have you ever wondered what omeprazole is and why it's prescribed? Welcome to our deep dive into this commonly used medication. Omeprazole, a name that may sound like a tongue twister, is a go-to solution for many people dealing with certain stomach and esophagus issues. Belonging to a class of drugs known as proton pump inhibitors, omeprazole is no ordinary medication. It battles against conditions like acid reflux, where stomach acid tends to flow back into the esophagus, causing a burning sensation often referred to as heartburn. But how does it do this, you may wonder? Omeprazole works by decreasing the amount of acid your stomach produces. The walls of the stomach contain tiny pumps that produce acid, helping to break down the food we eat. When these pumps go into overdrive, they can produce more acid than our stomachs and esophagus can handle, leading to discomfort and potentially harmful conditions. Enter omeprazole. This medication, the hero of our story, steps in and blocks the action of these proton pumps, slowing down the production of stomach acid. This action helps to reduce symptoms like heartburn, difficulty swallowing, persistent cough, and even sleep disturbances caused by the reverse flow of harsh stomach acid. However, omeprazole isn't just about giving you relief from heartburn, it's also been a game changer in the treatment of stomach ulcers, a condition often caused by the bacterium Helicobacter pylori or by the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also known as NSAIDs. By reducing stomach acid, omeprazole creates an environment where these ulcers can heal, offering relief to millions around the world. It's an essential tool in the modern medical toolkit, but like any medication, it needs to be understood and used correctly. Now that we've introduced omeprazole, let's delve deeper into why it's often prescribed. Stay tuned as we explore its uses, potential side effects, and even foods you might need to avoid while taking this medication. It's a journey worth taking for the sake of our health and well-being. So, why do doctors prescribe omeprazole? This question probably pops up in your mind whenever you hear about this medication. Well, omeprazole is a versatile pharmaceutical tool used to treat a variety of conditions related to your stomach and esophagus. Let's delve into some of these conditions. First and foremost, omeprazole is commonly used to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease better known as GERD. This disease occurs when stomach acid frequently flows back into the tube connecting your mouth and stomach, causing symptoms like heartburn and acid indigestion. Omeprazole works by reducing the amount of acid your stomach produces, thereby providing relief from these uncomfortable symptoms. Next up, we have stomach ulcers, which are painful sores that develop on the lining of your stomach, upper small intestine, or esophagus. Omeprazole helps in treating these ulcers by controlling the production of stomach acid, which can otherwise exacerbate these sores and prolong their healing time. Now let's talk about a less common but serious condition called Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. This is a rare disorder where one or more tumors form in your pancreas or the upper part of your small intestine. These tumors secrete a hormone that causes your stomach to produce too much acid, leading to peptic ulcers. Here again, omeprazole comes in, playing a crucial role in managing this condition by regulating the acid production in the stomach. In addition to these, omeprazole is also used to treat other conditions such as dyspepsia or indigestion and is sometimes used in combination with antibiotics to treat gastric ulcers caused by Helicobacter pylori infection. So, there you have it. Omeprazole is a versatile medication, working to balance the acid levels in your stomach and making life a little more comfortable for those dealing with these conditions. But like any medication, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While omeprazole can be a helpful medication, it's also important to be aware of the potential side effects. What could possibly go wrong with taking omeprazole? You might ask. Well, like any medication, omeprazole can have side effects. While most people tolerate it well, it's important to be aware of these potential issues so you can recognize them if they occur. The most common side effects are often mild and may include headache, nausea, diarrhea, stomach pain, and gas. These are typically short-lived and tend to subside as your body adjusts to the medication. But why do they occur? It's mainly because omeprazole changes the way your stomach produces acid and your body needs time to adapt to this new balance. However, if these symptoms persist or become severe, it's important to seek medical attention. And remember, everyone's body reacts differently to medication. So while these are common, they may not occur at all or you might experience other side effects not mentioned here. Now let's delve into the more serious side effects of omeprazole. These are less common, but if they occur, they could indicate a more serious issue. One of these is vitamin B12 deficiency. 
omeprazole can interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12 in your stomach. Over time, this can lead to a deficiency, which can cause symptoms like fatigue, weakness, memory loss, and even nerve damage. If you're taking omeprazole long-term, your healthcare provider might monitor your vitamin B12 levels to ensure they stay within a healthy range. Another serious side effect is an increased risk of bone fractures, especially if you're taking high doses of omeprazole for a year or more. The exact reason isn't clear, but it's thought that reduced stomach acid might impair the body's ability to absorb calcium, which is crucial for bone health. Lastly, there's a risk of developing a Clostridium difficile infection. This is a type of bacterial infection that can cause severe diarrhea and inflammation of the colon. It's thought that the changes in stomach acid levels caused by omeprazole can create an environment where this bacteria can flourish. If you experience any symptoms like prolonged diarrhea, unexplained weight loss, or frequent bone fractures, it's crucial to seek medical advice immediately. These could be signs of these serious side effects. So, what should you do if you experience any side effects from omeprazole? First, don't panic. Not all side effects mean you have to stop taking the medication, but you should always inform your healthcare provider about any new or worsening symptoms. They can guide you on the best course of action, which might include adjusting your dosage or switching to a different medication. In conclusion, while omeprazole is generally safe and effective, being aware of its potential side effects is important. This allows you to monitor your health closely and take action if needed. Knowing the side effects is crucial, but it's also important to know what foods to avoid while on this medication. So, what should you steer clear of when taking omeprazole? When it comes to managing your acid reflux or gastric ulcer with omeprazole, diet plays a crucial role. Certain foods and drinks can increase stomach acid and potentially decrease the effectiveness of this medication. Firstly, let's talk about spicy foods. Spicy foods are notorious for triggering heartburn and increasing stomach acid. If you are on omeprazole, it's best to limit foods that are high in spice. This includes dishes with hot peppers, chili powder, or hot sauces. But don't worry, you can still enjoy a flavorful meal. Try using herbs and mild spices like basil, oregano, or turmeric for a burst of flavor without the burn. Next up, citrus fruits. While they are packed with vitamin C and fiber, citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and grapefruits have a high acidity level. This acid can irritate the lining of your stomach, making your symptoms worse. Instead, opt for fruits with lower acidity like bananas, melons, or pears. Lastly, let's discuss caffeinated drinks. Caffeine can stimulate your stomach to produce more acid. This means your morning cup of coffee, black tea, or even your afternoon energy drink might be doing more harm than good. If you can't imagine starting your day without a warm drink, consider switching to herbal teas or decaffeinated options which are less likely to irritate your stomach. It's also crucial to mention that everyone is different. What triggers heartburn or acid reflux in one person might not affect another. Start by limiting these foods and drinks, but pay attention to your body. If you notice other foods triggering symptoms, it's best to avoid those as well. Remember, taking omeprazole and maintaining a suitable diet can help manage your condition effectively. So, here's to making mindful food choices and living a healthier, happier life. We've covered a lot today about omeprazole. From the basics to the specifics, we've journeyed through the world of this commonly used medication. We started by understanding what omeprazole is, an effective proton pump inhibitor that aids in reducing stomach acid. Next, we delved into its uses, highlighting its role in treating conditions like acid reflux, stomach ulcers, and gastroesophageal reflux disease. We also explored the potential side effects of omeprazole, including common ones like headaches and nausea, to more serious ones like kidney problems and vitamin B12 deficiency. Moreover, we discussed the importance of diet when taking omeprazole, emphasizing the need to avoid certain foods, like those high in acid or fat, which can exacerbate stomach problems. So the next time you hear about omeprazole, you'll know exactly what it is and why it's used. Stay informed and keep healthy.